Hey guys, how you doing? Today I'm going to be reviewing 12 different Korean snacks. I broke it down into three sections. Chips, chocolate pastries, and candy. They all look really delicious, so let's get right into it. Alright, let's start off with the chips. We have three different types here. Full disclosure, I've had these in the past, but it's been a long time since I had these. So I'm kind of eager to test these out. Let's start off with the shrimp cracker. This says, Seukang. Already I smell some shrimp flavor coming out of the bag. Mmm. If you're into shrimp or seafood, you might be into this one. But let's give it a try. Mmm. It's really light and airy and it has a hint of shrimp flavor. Let's try a handful. Loads of shrimp flavor. It's pretty light and airy, but if you take a handful like I just did, it tastes really shrimpy. I guess this isn't for everyone, but for me, I love shrimp, so this one's a win in my book. All right, let's try out the next one. This one is the Ojingo Dangkong. That means squid peanut. Yup, squid peanut. Yum. Like I said before, it's been a while since I had these, so let's give it a taste. This has a nice crunch. If you guys had Whoppers, those chocolate covered malt balls, it has that similar texture to it. As soon as you bite down, it has that nice crunch to it. It has a crunch, but it's airy inside. And as soon as you crunch through the outer layer, you're treated with a nice peanut core. So if you're into peanuts, this one's pretty good. Now for the squid flavor, it's not that much. Can't really taste the squid part, really. I mean, there's a hint of that smell and taste but it's not really as strong as the shrimp flavor on this one. All right, let's try out the next chip. This is a chip from Sun. No, it's not a Sun chip, but it sure does look like it. Even the bag, it looks like a French onion kind of packaging. It has a square shape and ridges just like a Sun chip, but in the back, there's no English. It doesn't seem to be affiliated with the Sunship company. This one is a garlic baguette flavor. Do you guys like garlic? I love garlic. I put it on everything. So let's see how this tastes. Mmm. Wow, it has a strong garlic taste. I got a punch of garlic just on that one chip. All you garlic fans out there, definitely have to give this a try. Make sure you brush your teeth afterwards because my breath smells like garlic. All right, let's try the chocolate pastries next. Here I have five different kinds. I've never had these before. Let's try this one first. This one looks like a cookie. All right, so the box says Bronor Brownie Chocolate Chip Cookie. Bronor Brownie Choco Chip Cookie. And it has a bunch of Korean. I don't know what that means. So yeah, let's give it a go. Mmm. It has a brownie inside. So that's where the brownie comes from. The outside is a really uh, soft, crumbly kind of type of cookie. It's pretty good. I don't really taste the chocolate too much. The chocolate's not that strong in this cookie, but it works well with this uh, brownie. I could see you dunking this in a cup of coffee in the morning a good breakfast coffee. All right, let's move on to the next one. Now guys, if you had any type of Korean snacks before, I'm sure you recognize this brand, Choco Pie. This one here is actually the banana flavor. I've had the regular Choco Pie, but I've never had this banana flavor. So let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. Right off the bat, you can taste the banana. 
I mean, obviously it's artificial, but they did a good job here. If you ever had chocolate dipped bananas, well, it tastes pretty good. Now the marshmallow, it's kind of masked. You can't really taste it too much because the chocolate and the banana kind of overpowers it, but it has a subtle flavor. This one also, if you dip it in um, your morning coffee, I'm sure it'd be really good. All right, let's go to the next one. This one is the French pie. It says, Hurenchi pie, chokosu puredu. I think that means chocolate bread. Let's give it a go. Mm, really crispy. It has a buttery taste to it too, on the breading part, really light. Have you ever had a croissant with chocolate chips or chocolate syrup? Well, this is definitely going for that. Pretty good. Mm. All right, let's go to the next one. This one kind of looks like a choco pie, but it has some chocolate drizzle on it. Let's see, it says Bongsel Dream Case. Premium pie with fresh cream. Fresh cream. Is it really fresh though? Let's find out. Mm. All right, it, it has a lot of uh, chocolate flavor. I could taste the cream in the middle. It's almost cake-like. This would definitely pair well with the milk. All right, let's try out the last one. This one looks kind of like a biscotti, a chocolate covered biscotti. It says, Otu chocolate dessert cake hot rich chocolate. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. All right, so this one's pretty fluffy like a cake. The bottom has a nice layer of chocolate. So you could think of it like a piece of cake, but only a little denser. All right, for the last snack, we have Korean candy. Let's go ahead and try this one. This one is the green grape candy. Oh wow, it has 13.5 milligrams of vitamin C. Let's give it a try. Mmm. It's definitely one of those hard types of candies, like a dum-dum, without the stick, of course. It has a mild grape flavor. It's not too sweet, and it has a little hint of sourness to it. Overall, pretty good. All right, let's move to the next one. This is the coffee candy. It says coffee taste candy. Hopefully it tastes like coffee. Let's give it a try. Hmm? The more you taste it, the more flavors come out. It has like a tea-ish taste, not really a coffee taste. Now I'm tasting something like a milk flavor, like a creamy milk kind of flavor, like a creamer. This one, this one doesn't really taste like coffee but it has this creamy, milky taste to it. I see what they did. They made it taste like coffee and cream, but sadly you can't really taste the coffee. I love coffee, but this one's definitely not for me. If you guys like a lot of sugar and milk or cream in your coffee, then this might be for you. Let's try the next one. All right, the next one is this pink one. It looks like a bubble gum. Malang kau, dalgi uyu candy. So this means skinny cow, strawberry milk candy. Let's give it a taste. Mm. It chews like a bubble gum. As it's melting, you get strawberry milk flavor. It's pretty good. All right, let's move on to the next one. These kind of look chewy and taffy-like. Tecum talcum dalgi lemonade. So it says sweet and sour strawberry lemonade. This one is the strawberry. Mmm, just like a taffy. It's really chewy. Not much strawberry flavor. It has like an artificial strawberry flavor. Not my favorite. This one is the lemonade. Mm. Wow, immediately your mouth puckers. You guys ever had a lemon head before? 
I'm not sure if they sell those anymore. Yeah, I'm old. Pretty chewy overall. I think I like the lemonade flavor one better. Overall, it's pretty good. All right, guys, for, out of all 12 Korean snacks that I've tried, they're all pretty good, but I definitely have my favorites. From the chips, my favorite is the garlic baguette flavored chips from Sun. It's pretty thin and it has a really nice garlic flavor to it. If you love garlic like me, let me know in the comments and definitely make sure to check out this chip. It's pretty good. For the chocolate pastries, my favorite was the banana flavored choco pie. I was kind of surprised how the chocolate and banana worked well together. Even though the marshmallow wasn't really there, it still kind of added another dimension to it, which I like. For the candy, my favorite was the strawberry milk one. It was pretty chewy, which I like. It definitely had a uh, real strawberry milk flavor to it. Make sure to check that out as well. All right, guys, so did you enjoy this video? Do you want me to try out other Korean snacks or any other snacks for that matter? Let me know in the comments. I upload videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Until next time, love you guys. Peace.